Thanks for tuning in to my little uh, audio blog post here. I, it's still so awkward not to know exactly what to call these things. People call them podcasts or netcasts or web blahs, whatever. And ba- it's, it's basically just a, a blog post, but it's read to you or spoken to you instead of taking the time to read. I imagine once the technology gets there to auto-transcribe, it'll be the best of both worlds. Anyway, the point of the recording today is to share a link that, um, you know, normally these things just kind of scan by my eyes and I don't really spend any time with them, but uh, there's this recurring, I don't know what to call it, like a uh, observation or lack thereof that that always kind of makes me stop uh, and be like, how do people not realize this? Um, It's such such a duh thought to me. What I'm talking about is um, on the joystick.com website, they've got a post out about them. They're out there covering the Game Developers Conference, and a composer by the name of Akira Yamaoka um, had a panel where he basically um, explained why um, audio is so important and its power to, um, to create mood. And it's funny because I had a very similar conversation way back in the 90s um, when I was just a a, a young thing, fresh out of broadcast school. And a buddy of mine um, tried to tell me how he didn't think audio development was very important, that video graphics were the crux of the new wave of stuff. Now, this is like just prior to like MP3s taking off. Um, I remember we were all involved in... uh, a game developers kind of fan group. You know, we're trying to get together to, to basically make a game, and um, wave files were still kind of the the thing. There's, I'm sure, a couple of different audio codecs, but I was just getting uh, um, familiar with the audio, digital audio, and when MP3s had not quite taken off yet. Matter of fact, side note: I remember telling one of my buddies that I, there's just got to be another format out there that's higher compressed. Uh, more compact and easier to package into a (laughs) a, a distributed audio. Not knowing anything, not being an audio expert and not knowing the developments and technology, I was just like, there's going to be something coming along that's smaller and faster. Anyway, my little prediction. Anyway, uh, so yeah, so real quickly, the, the, the guy challenged me. He said, graphics are more important than sound. And I said, hell no. And uh, the game flavor of the month at the time was Mech Warrior. I don't remember what number, if it was two, three, or four, or whatever. But uh, we all really loved the opening scenes, which basically conveyed the purpose of the game. All the mechs running around, having their wars and battles and stuff like that. And uh, and he's like, "Look at that! Isn't that great? Isn't that you know? That's just like the cutting edge of games right now." And I'm like, oh, "That's fine. That's all very well and good." And I said, "Let's play that over again." And we turned off the monitor and turned up the speakers. And you're hearing all these explosions and engine noises and and uh, dramatic music and radio calls back and forth and people conveying their intention and and you know just all this drama occurring, right? And I said, if you didn't have that in your game, how how do your graphics even matter? It's like it can look great, but it doesn't actually give you any drama. All it does is you know stimulate your visual cortex and. I know. I remember that being like a, a kind of a watershed moment for me because mostly I just kind of sat back and watched people discuss things and and having just coming out of audio production, I just felt very compassionate about. Um, oh, that's the right word. I just felt very passionate about uh, audio being very important and how it's used to convey um, drama and theater and story. And uh, I'm glad to see that. Somebody out, somebody, you know, th- here we are 2010, and it's still something we have to drive home to people. You still have to understand that read all you want, watch all you want. There's nothing like good audio to convey, well, feeling. Anyway, so uh, that's all I got for you today. Uh, I'll try to make these shorter in the future, well, about five minutes or so. That's, that's not too bad. Thanks for listening, and I uh, look forward to seeing you soon. Take care.